later on. That was the women. This is the men. Can it be a Newport double? Hannah Minogue took the women's race. That's Mitchell Trim. He'll be doing his best, but there's a huge lineup of competitors here trying to steal his thunder. Well, it's not his thunder they want, Josh. It's his lightning. This guy is lightning fast, and he is one of the boys that's going to be right up the front end here today. Oh, there's a few lightning fast boys here. Lachlan Tame, Riley Fitzsimons, both Rio Olympians. And of course, Kendrick Louie, his first outing in the summer of surf, did make the Ironman final, so he'll be looking for a big performance here. And start is everything. Very tough to get him off the beach here with a Newport shore break on and away. It's time to fire things up. Jet Kenny in the middle really tries to get going, but maybe it just gets left ever so slightly behind as Riley Fitzsimmons in the middle there really puts the power down. Lockie Tame at the top of the screen as we ride on with Lockie. Have a look at the power there, those arms pumping out to sea, and it is Fitzsimmons from the Avoca Club, from his teammate, absolutely flying out at the moment, and maybe one of the manly competitors, Nick Dore as well on this side, so the Northern beaches boys and the central coast going very very hard at it but it's a bit of a line across the field as jmo porter probably not used to having this much speed around him he's usually out in front and he's been a little bit left behind at this moment well so much speed so much power the rating of these boys when they get those skis up and moving as we see a little bit of trouble there for jet kenny stuck in behind in the middle of the pack so again another bloke who's been paddling extremely well but he's stuck behind here now josh lachlan tame looks like he's going backwards had a couple go past him Interesting, Ben Carberry there, one of the Ironman boys, big, tough, strong, former scaffolder. He really put in a great effort there after that initial start. And a lot of these guys have got, have got quick speed, but it's that second period there where they really go up and forward that makes the difference heading into the can as Mitchell Trim just gets caught on the inside there. Riley Fitzsimons on the outside puts the pressure down. A couple of the other competitors making things tough for him around the outside. And let's have a look here. Oh, he cops one. Oh, and he's over. Mitchell Trim's gone in, so we've given him a wrap. He cut in on the inside, and he has gone out, and that is disastrous for his competition. Watch the paddles, Trimmy, as the rest of the field comes through, and that's race over. I'll call it now. He's not coming back from that. Well, he struggles to swim, Josh. Head underwater is not a good thing for a ski paddler, and not that good for Mitchell Trim. He struggled to get himself back on. He's on now, but it's day done for Mitchell Trim in this ski race. He's not even in shot at this point, so that is it for him. He is really struggling as the rest of the field starts to make their way home and Mitchell Trim's on the outside doing his best just to get around the cans. Have a look at Ben Carberry there. He's starting to wind things up and trying to catch up. Lockie Tame just ahead of Sam Spear there. Kendrick Louis in the mix as well. Riley Fitzsimons doing his best at the top of the screen, trying to work into it. Jet Kenny's following him down the centre and there's three different lines with three different plans here from the boys and all of them are looking for that one runner that can give them the race. Well, how was Ben Carberry when he decided to turn on his turn of speed? He went away from some of the, not some of, the best ski paddlers out there. Have a look at these two, the Evoca pairing. Lockie Tame knows maybe his race has been run at the moment. He's just praying for a wave. But have a look at Carberry lift. Carberry is absolutely flying. He's paddled past one of the best ski fields we've ever seen in the summer of surf. We've got Olympians. We've got Olympic medalists. We've got Australian ski race champions. We've got everything in this one. And Ben Carberry, the Ironman, formerly from Warilla, now at Burley Heads. He has paddled away from this field, didn't even get a wave, and he will cruise to victory. Oh, a sniper got him there but it's no dramas at all and now the race is going to be on for second place up and away the ski paddlers hate to run Riley Fitzsimmons there he gets across the line Lockie Tame maybe that's Evoca two and three we'll have to leave it to the judges and where is Mitchell Trim? Oh, I'm not happy what happened? Fall off. Oh no way too much safe on the scene. So we take a look at the replay here Trim comes too close. I didn't know there was an obstacle on the course there. The Aussie body's turning cam. He just gets one leg in and one leg is all you need because you're going out. As you said, Jack, the ski paddlers hate to swim and have a look at the paddles and skis going past him. That's not the place you want to be. The Aussie body's cam takes its second casualty for the day. Courtney Hancock had trouble with it in the Ironwoman final. Now Mitchell Trim is off his ski and really struggling. Ben Carberry had no trouble, though he takes a summer of surf ski race win over a very, very good field. Yet further down the page, there's a couple of finalists there and a couple of gold medalists from the Aussie titles. Oh, yeah, I knew if I could um, probably stay with Lockie and Rizza, I'd always maybe have a chance to come in the top five. 
didn't really expect to sort of paddle away a little bit at the end there, but yeah, stuck to the way I raced. Um, yeah, didn't have the greatest start, just sort of sort of just stayed behind Lockie and then got a bit of a boost over his side wash and then ended up getting a good run on the outside of the can. And then yeah, pretty much just from there. Um, no, I didn't really feel that safe. I wasn't sure what was behind me. I knew if I gassed myself enough, maybe I could paddle to the beach and they'd be on the way behind. But yeah, stoked to come away with that. Big weekend with the boys. And yeah, one thing led to another and then we got this haircut. Well, Ben Carberry doing his best Joe Dirt impersonation there. It's a great look. He's not on top. Lockie Tame, the Rio Olympian, ahead of Jet Kenny and Jamo Porter, the Alex crew. Benny Carberry sitting there in fourth place. Top 16 will go through to our Summer of Surf final at Surfers Paradise. Later in the summer there, all these...